Hello everyone, welcome back and today we will be starting a brand new series with Star Trek Online, uh, as you can possibly tell by the X and circle button, this is on the PS4. What I decided is we will start a new character, who will be Starfleet, because Federation in it, and I'll go through each and individual mission as a as an episode so, maybe two if the short episodes like they are at the beginning and uh, yeah let's go from an ensign and take ourselves up all the way to fleet admiral is it so see you after the, the character customization because I know that is a boring part and I just tend to just go straight through it okay here we are our name is John Tim Kurt. The left stick controls your player movement. The right stick controls your camera. Thank you, game. In the middle of talking there. So, but yes, our name is John Tim Kurt. You can probably all guess as to who that sounds a lot like. Uh, we are a tactical officer, a human, because. Uh, we're human, so why not? And uh, I decided to play the tutorial just to. Yeah, I, I know how to. Oh, there we go. Yes, thank you again. I probably should have skipped the tutorial, but let's uh, talk to Elisa. Finally, I was beginning to think you forgot what today was. Oh, never. How could I forget? Of course, I was first in line. Oh, before I forget, I think Raski is just ahead. He wanted to thank you for helping him cram for the Astrometrics final. Well, I guess we'll like, give him a talk then. Him a talk? Him a... yeah, hmm. Hello! Fish face. There you are! I wanted to thank you for helping me pass that final. And for all the other times you've helped me. I've always admired you. I hope Starfleet recognizes all you've done to lead our class. What ship oh. did you get? Oh, uh, we haven't got an assignment yet. Good luck. Before you report to Lieutenant Farah and get your assignment, you should find Tavral. She wanted to talk to you. She's just up the pathway. Why, thank you, sir. Run, 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 run. Hello. Greetings. Hello. It was... Good of you to encourage me to retake the linguistics final. I was willing to accept my original results, but you saw that I was not at my best that day. My score increased by 12.8% on the second attempt, well within my standard norms. Now I am qualified to serve as both a science officer and a communications officer. Typical Vulcans bringing the percentage of things in. Morik would like to see you as well. He is ahead of us on the path. Live long and prosper. Live long and prosper, Cadet Trevel. Your minimap shows you where your objectives are. An arrow will appear on the minimap if you are far away from your objective. Thank you, computer. Computer, well, yeah. Hmm. Hello. There you are. Getting excited yet? Once we finish our training cruise, we'll all be full-fledged ensigns. The buzz is, Captain Taggart hasn't named all of his senior staff yet. From what I heard, the advanced phaser training simulation is tripping people up. Yeah, well, let's go get his training assignment then. Run, run, run like the trolley. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Lieutenant, Lieutenant, I'm here. Good afternoon, cadet. What can I do for you? Is this where I can get my training cruise assignment? Yes. I have the complete assignment list here. Ooh. Name? John Tim Kirk, sir. Let's see. Interesting. Report to Captain Taggart. He's in the office behind me. Is there a problem, sir? You're going to have to ask him. Oh, okay. Thank you, sir. Objects you can interact with have a glow around them. Press the X button to interact with the doorbell to notify Captain Taggart of your presence. Oh, I probably pressed that a bit too soon. Sir, you request to see me? Well, apparently I've got to talk to you. Cadet. Yes, hello sir. I did. I've been following your progress here at the Academy. And I must say, 
I'm impressed. Thank you, Captain. I'm just looking at your final test scores, but I don't see your results for the advanced phase of training program. Many of my classmates didn't take the test. I, I shouldn't do that accent. I want everyone on my senior staff to run that program, and I want to see good results, no exceptions. Did you say senior staff, sir? I did. Like I said, I've been following your career here at the Academy. If you complete that program, I can put you on my bridge. I'll ask my tactical officer to set it up. The tactical officer, sir? Who is that? Another fine cadet like yourself. Her scores were almost as good as yours, but her record has a few... blemishes. Still, I'm sure Cadet Flores will settle down and become a fine officer someday. Okay, sir, we will do that. I'll tell Flores to meet you out in the quad. Talk to her to start the phaser training, and I'll see you when you're finished. You're dismissed, Cadet. Sir, yes, sir. And now we have to go do our advanced training. Phaser training. Phaser training. Phaser sounds like trainers. Oh, oh, sorry, I missed you. Hello. Uh, hello? I got the tactical officer spot. Just what I wanted. Where'd you end up? Well, you might have got the tactical officer's spot, but I got senior staff. You never did that? I thought you were Mr. Extra Credit. Everyone knows that Captain Taggart expects all his top people to pass that program. Well, I, I mean, uh, yeah. Don't worry, you'll do fine. Come on, I'll take you to the holodeck and set it up. Come on then, lead the way. Seems most of our class ended up on oh, Captain Taggart's wait. ship. San Francisco. Little shuttles running about, flying about, not running. We're running. Oh, you know what? I don't have time for this. Have you I seen know. the whales Ooh. in San Francisco oh, Bay? Yep, yep, yep. I never seem to spot them. Is that a hint to a I Starfleet episode? He is a hologram. He seems like such a fixture here at Starfleet Academy. Boothby. Who's Boothby? One of the console buys the first round tonight. We're on a spaceship. We're not getting drinks. Well, I suppose you could get drinks on the ship. Oh, hello. Uh, hello. Setting up the training program now. Have any advice? Shoot stuff. Don't die. Pretty basic, really. True, true. Can't get a good score if you're dead. It's standard stuff. The program runs a variation on Mako assault training. Hmm. Are you going to make it easy for me then? The last time I tried to give someone a little help, I ended up on academic probation for the rest of the year. I'm not saying I haven't learned a few tricks since then. Oh, you naughty girl. I'll need a phaser. Phasers are in the lockers by the holodecks. You can grab one there. Right, let's go then. Press left to scan the area. Uh, we'll get this way. Your tricorder will point you toward your nearest objective. Yes, I know all this. Oh, I shouldn't have done the tutorial. Right, we're here, and we'll get a pistol. The pistol has been automatically equipped. Right, through the holodeck. The the All these bloody pop-ups, I can't see! Begin program. Are, are these pop-ups gonna go light? They should do, should do. Press the R2 oh my god. Weapon in combat. Nope. Uh, are these pop-ups gonna go or not? Anyway, come on. Come on, you Klingon scum. Ah. In combat, huh. certain actions are disabled. You call this hard. Can we just finish? Hold the ah. to hold Sir. The draw your weapon. Hello, sir. Well done, cadets. You're not gonna break the Academy record, but your score was more than satisfactory. Thank you, Captain. Do you have any assignment for me now? Absolutely. I have a new first officer. Congratulations! What? First officer, sir? Yes. You should be proud of your accomplishments here, cadet. You have a promising career ahead of you in Starfleet. Why, thank you, sir. I'm looking forward to serving with you. First officer, way to go! Just a little jealous, I'll admit. <laughs> At least now you'll get to boss us all around like you've always wanted. Hey, it's a lot of pressure. I'm hope I can, I can, eh? 
If the first officer can't speak, what chance have I got? I hope I'm up to it. You'll do great. But we should head up to the shuttle bay. Everyone else is waiting there for the ceremonial send-off toast. Well then, we better hurry up. Uh, um, mm, this way a bit. Now hear this. All cadets report to shuttle bay to prepare for departure. Okay, all of the senior staff is waiting by the bar. I'm sure everyone's a bit nervous, this being our first real assignment hall. So, I'm expecting an inspiring speech out of you. Something heartwarming. Make Tavrell cry. This mission could just determine the rest of our careers. No pressure. I'll meet you over there. First officer of a spaceship and already giving out speeches? Let's do it. <clears throat> Hello, cadets. Uh, I don't know, I'm running really slowly for. Well. Um. <clears throat> Let's inspire the cadets. We are the senior staff of the USS Ambitious. Each and every one of us has trained for the task at hand, and we are ready. I have the utmost faith in each of you. You're the best the Academy has, and together we can do anything. All I ask is that we support one another. If we can work as a team, we can accomplish our goals. To the to Starfleet Academy, to the USS Ambitious, to her crew. All cadets, please board your shuttles. Oh, that were a nice drink. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we've got to go to shuttle now. Hello, deck officer. Are you ready to head to the ship? Of course we are. Right then. I'm going to check in and then head for the bridge. See you there. That's what I'm doing. Hello, Lieutenant uh, Brick, Brick, Brickers. Name and position? Cadet John Tim Kirk, Acting First Officer. I have your record right here, sir. Bah. Welcome to the ship. Yes, that's right. Call me, sir. Where is the captain? Captain Taggart is waiting for you on the bridge. Use the turbo lift behind me. It will take you directly there. Thank you, Lieutenant. Go to the bridge. Brig. Bridge. Oh, hold on. Go to the bridge. Ah, yes. Hello, Captain. Welcome to the bridge, number one. Number one? Early in my career. I served with a captain who called his first officer that. I always liked it. As my number one, I expect you to ensure my orders are carried out and to advise me on the best course of action in any situation. Of course, sir. But first, we need to get out of dry dock, get clearance from control, and close the shuttle bay doors, then disable the tractor moorings. Of course, sir. Travel, get clearance from traffic control for the ambitious to leave the gantry. Earth traffic control has cleared us to depart, sir. Thank you, Travel. Very good, number one. Flores, send the signal to close the shuttle bay doors. Shuttle bay doors are closed, sir. Thank you. Very good, number one. Potter, huh, Harry Potter, wait for me to disable the tractor moorings. Already serving aboard a ship, and I'm giving orders. Beep bop, beep 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 Captain. Potter. Take us out. One quarter impulse. Captain, may I remind you that Starfleet regulations specify thrusters only while in the vicinity of space dock? Just checking to see if you were paying attention, number one. Potter, take us out. Maximum thrusters. Thank you, sir. To sit, press the X button. Ah, uh, let's sit next to the captain. To sit in. Cleared from dry dock, Captain. Good. 
Let's start with something easy. Set course for Vulcan. Course lead in, sir. Engage. And that's it. We're setting course for Vulcan. Vulcan, the Vulcan Captain, system. I am Hold. picking up a distress call from the SS Break Even. Audio only. Let's hear it, Tavrell. This is the Break Even. Can you hear me? So our workforce is failing. We could really use some help here. Let them know we're on our way. Potter, lay in a rendezvous course. Altering course, sir. ETA three minutes. Transporter room. Prepare to beam over survivors. Sir, Zetas can't read anything in the vicinity of the break-even. Communications are out as well. Keep trying to hail them, Tavrell. Number one, let's discuss the situation. Of course, Captain. Sir? You heard the distress call, number one. What do you think we should do? Is this a test, sir? Part of the training crews? Absolutely not. We're the closest ship to the break-even, so it's our duty to assist. Well, sir, in my opinion, it's strange that, tra that the transmission was audio only. A warp core emergency shouldn't affect communications. Good. What do you advise? Hmm. I recommend yellow alert, sir. Shields up, sir. Better safe than sorry. Raising the shields does seem to be a reasonable precaution. Yes, sir. It could be a trap. I agree. Flores, raise shields. Number one, get down to the transporter room. You'll oversee the rescue effort from there. Of course, sir. Uh, this one. Go to transporter deck. Classical music plays in the in the background. I'm getting some weird readings. Yes. What are they? I can't get a solid lock. Okay, you've, got, you've gone. Trying to compensate. Uh. I think I have. Why it. are you in the ground? This is a lot different than the training scenarios. Um, maybe. Beaming them over now. If you could stand up, it Hang might on. help. The can't this see. Don't worry. This vessel is now property of Captain Kadek of the IKS Chart. Right. Well, it. He was in the ground. Come in. Stop. On. Security is reporting disruptive fire in the transporter room. And Klingon transporter signatures are showing up all over the ship. They're boarding us. What can I do to help, sir? You have the command codes to unlock an armory near your position. Arm yourself and any security team members you find. Yes, sir. What about the enemy ship, sir? We still have weapons. I'll do what I can. For now, I need you to concentrate on getting those Klingons off my ship. Tag it out. Yes, sir. Let's go. We have to get to the armory, which is here, apparently. I don't know why we have the security codes for it. I mean, we've we're just a trainee, but, eh. Uh, come on, lads, come on, lads, come on. Yep, yep, unlock the armory, yep. Yep, 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 oh. You need to equip your phaser rifle. Oh, no. Nah. To do so, press the options button and select the captain option under the Select the item heading. You can there we go. You now have a phase rifle. Oh, hello, Klingies. Oh, no, wrong one. Nope, not today. Hey. Huh? Are you still shooting? Who's still shooting? Holy moly. You put a hole in my ship. So, through here? Nope, nope. Hey, come on, die. Tell you, use this one. Yeah? An Goodbye. Has for you. Hey. The item and it will be automatically added to your what? Bigger things to worry about than dropped items, love. Again, bigger issues. Secure it. Other side of the whole breach. Yep. Right, any more of these Klingons? Of course there is. 
And you're dead. And you're dead. Security! Um. Number one, we're doing our best to cripple this Klingon Marauder, but I need your help. Time to show off that academy training. I know how to improve the ship's weapons, sir. Sometimes missions specialized to your career class are oh. available. Um. Uh, hello? Uh, hello? Hello? Thank you? Whoa, okay. Get off my ship. Hello, I've got long range. You're dead. Oh, okay. Right stick to crouch. Crouching gives a defensive bonus against ranged attacks that increases Ooh. damage from melee attacks. Uh, why am I not shooting? Game? Hello? Hello? Me to game. Oh, there we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Breach the door. Um, put my hand through the door, actually. Whoa! No, 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 no. Not having this. Uh, come on, stop hiding. Eh. <laughs> uh, don't you get away from my photons. Right, quick, quick. You, lads, you, you sort them out. I'm, I'm inputting codes into photon torpedoes. You're dead. You, you didn't like Klingon dead. Boosting four forward phaser banks, I think. That said, I've got one more to do, which should be aft. Boost power to torpedo warheads. That's what that was. Number one, we've got injured up here, and the Klingons could send a boarding party at any time. I need you back on the bridge. Aye, sir. Go see to the bridge. We will secure this area. Okay, Travel. <sighs> nice. Hello, Wall. Back to the bridge. Sir? Hello? Hey, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, that's not good. Oh, hello. I didn't notice she was here. Go away. You wanna, you wanna, you know, fight my ship? But uh, doesn't that mean if the captain's not on the ship that the first officer is therefore automatically put as captain or acting captain? Incoming transmission from the Klingons. On screen. This is Captain Kayak of the IKS chart. You may have forced my boarding parties off your decks, but our ship remains cloaked. You have no hope of finding us or defeating us. Your choice is simple. Surrender, or we will kill your captain and then destroy your ship. Firstly, I know another name we could call your ship instead of IKS shot. Secondly, never. Starfleet captains and officers will never surrender to the likes of the Klingon Empire. Perhaps your captain will change your mind. Captain? Order your crew to surrender, Captain, or I will blow them out of the sky. It's your choice, Captain. Do you want these children to die? Very well. Number one. Yes, sir. You are now the captain of the ship. Your what? Orders. Your orders are to lock onto my combat and fire! Captain! Make me proud. We have target lock, Captain. Fire. One photon? Is that it? Direct 
Shields! Shields! Fire our weapons! Weapons and shields are offline! Hmm. We've lost their signal. What now? Where are you? Oh, you're up here. Right, let's talk about this. We... We survived. But the captain... Captain Taggart knew what would happen. And he gave the order anyway. Ultimate sacrifice. One that we all might be called to make someday. He trusted you to take command. All we can do now is survive and remember him. Yes. We still have a Klingon vessel out there, and we will find them. Ah, the captain's chair. Oh, what a sight. All decks reporting in, sir. We took some casualties, and sick bay is full. All ship systems have taken some damage, but some are worse than others. Life support is stable, but anything else could be an issue. Travel, send out a distress call. If, there are, if this is Klingon, if if, what am I saying? Distress is too much, everyone. The Klingons are here. If there's any other Federation vessels out there, they will come. I have been trying to get a distress call out, Captain, but something is jamming all frequencies. Damn it. Must be the Klingons. Keep trying. What's the status of that Klingon ship? She's still cloaked, but I think she took some real damage. We're in rough shape too, Captain. Zava, damage report? Still running diagnostics, sir. Took us some time to get the systems back online. What about the break-even? Hail them. Hailing the break-even now, Captain. Break even. This is Starfleet vessel USS Ambitious. What is your status? Well, this is awkward. You're angry. I can see that. Understandable. Just a bit. Before this gets too carried away, hear me out. I had to send that distress signal. My options were limited while a Klingon was pointing a disruptor at my head. Hmm. The Klingons were thorough. They even damaged my warp drive to make things look convincing. I'll never make it to safety on impulse. Don't suppose you could lend me a hand here? I'd uh, rather not be around if the Klingons come back. I'll see what I can do for Rengi. Press up to increase oh, well, that was your ship speed. Press down to decrease your ship speed. Use the left stick to pitch downward or upward, as well as to turn left or right. Yep, I know that. No, Thank you, computer. Oh. I've stopped us this time, sir, but from now on, you'll be responsible for adjusting the speed of the ship. You... you shouldn't even be doing the stopping. Scan the break even, anyway. Looks like she just needs three or four warp induction coils. We have plenty of those to spare. Well, so ain't that brilliant. The ships and press the X to Transporting the them to you now. I suppose there should have been some voice acting there, but okay. Well, looks like we're on our own. At least they said thank you, I guess. About that cloaked ship full of Klingons? Zava, do you have that damage report? Almost done, Captain. Level 2 diagnostic shows that almost all of the plasma injectors are damaged beyond repair. Do you have replacements? Not enough. Plasma injectors are made to withstand quite a beating, but I think the Klingons specifically sabotaged them when they boarded us. It's an easy way to cripple a ship. I'm installing what spares we have, but we're short three injectors. Without them, we can't go to warp. Any ideas? We're not the first ship the Klingons have hit here. There's wreckage all over this region. I can scan the derelicts and see if any of them have intact plasma injectors. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Bingo! I found some suitable debris in the boneyard nearby. Destroy three of those nacelles, and we should get the parts we need. Brilliant. 
full impulse. No, nope, not yet. Mm. Fire phases. Yeah, that guy's getting annoying. Oh, tell me about it. But we need these. I I wish we could go to full. You know what? Switch power to uh, not weapons, engines. That's it. Should get us a bit more speed. Can I just go to full impulse, please? No, not yet. Ugh. I mean, putting the power into engines has definitely improved. These plasma injectors. You have your problems. I have mine. Oops, I I'll didn't mean to skip that. To get everything installed and run a level one diagnostic. We don't want to blow up the moment we hit warp one. <laughs> Elise. Elisa, give me a status report. Zarva's dealing with the warp corp, but until she's done, we're still stranded out here with no way to call for help. Oh, don't forget the cloaked Klingon battlecruiser. It's probably making repairs faster than we are. Any chance we can determine what's jamming communications in this system? Of course we can. We're the class of 2409. Hey! The has been working with the engineers, and they've pinpointed the locations of several Klingon signal jammers. That's what blocked our communications during the ambush. Mm -hmm. I recommend that we destroy the jamming satellites. We'll be able to get a call out to Starfleet then. Uh, sounds good, but I think that was everybody eyes, everyone's idea to destroy the thing that's stopping us sending out communications. You must be within ten kilometers of an enemy to attack. Use your Ooh, to double photons. <laughs> yeah. The Klingons ain't smart. I nice shot. Isn't this system's in Federation space? Why is there Klingon jamming satellites? I haven't forgotten about you. Think your ship can take a couple more hits. Oh yes, I think we can. Full power to weapon systems. Long range communications oh. are operational, sir. Shall I send the distress signal? <laughs> already ahead of you there. I'm already sending it. That Klingon sh understood. Oh, I'd rather not die to Klingons on my first day. Got it. I can trace the plasma signature right to the source. Finally, we have an advantage. I'll send the source of the plasma signature to navigation. It will show up on the map. Make it so. It's pretty far out, sir. We should use the ship's full impulse power to reach it. This will temporarily take power from other systems, but vastly improve our speed. Once we drop out of full impulse, the power will return to other systems. I can't full impulse. Swift. Hold up on the D-pad to activate and deactivate full impulse. Well, we're already on the way. Shut up. Meow. Meow. Multiple birds of prey decloaking. Oh, okay. Engage them. Well, one photon and that were already dead. Or nearly dead anyway. Yeah, go on, yeah, mm-hmm. How would you like two photons? Oh, one of them missed. That's that's nice. Think you can catch me? Go ahead and try. Oh, don't tempt Press me. Press the circle button to activate high yield torpedo. Yeah, this tutorial is absolutely shite. I already did that like three times. Will increase the power of your next torpedo attack. Really? More power to weapon systems. Let's engage this Negva. Zarva needs more time to get the plasma injectors installed. Try not to break anything else. Uh, I am the captain. Don't talk to me like that. Ah. All right. Why is only one of these photons hitting? Thank you. Fire. Hey, how is these not doing any damage? Oh no, oh no, stop! Incoming On screen! This is Captain Nog of the USS Chimera. Do you require assistance? Yes, please, we've been ambushed by Klingons. Pretty bold move to come this far into Federation territory, even for Klingons. That's what I said. Where is Captain Tagger? He was captured and taken to the Klingon ship. They killed him after he ordered us to fire on him. And did you follow his orders? Of course. I see. And you're the acting captain. I am the one talking to you, yes. Right. Well done, Cadet. Looks like your ship is in need of repairs. Just a little Set bit. Set course for Earth space dock. 
We'll get you back in one piece. What about the Klingon who killed the captain? He's still out there. Believe me, Cadet. If he comes back looking for a fight, he'll get one. In the meantime, set a course for our position. Chimera out. Yes, sir. And that's where we're going to leave this episode. I do hope you enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. See you later.